What's up, guys? It's the Sim with Vengeance, and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 Arkansas State Red Wolves Dynasty. And today, after that loss to Appalachian State last week, uh, we dropped down to number nine. And today, we are taking on the New Mexico State Aggies. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. So with that loss last week, I mean, yeah, it was tough. Appalachian State's a really good football team. Um, but... I mean, we only lost by five. It's not like we got blown out. Um, so that's why we're still as high in the rankings as we are because of that. Um, but as far as good bowl implications, like a January bowl, probably still going to get it. Uh, but as far as getting like one of those BCS ones, I highly doubt it uh, because of the fact that we're in the Sun Belt Conference and we are, you know, we haven't played anybody good except for Appalachian State. So that just our resume isn't that deep. So that's probably we're probably gonna end up going to like uh, I don't know the 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 Go Daddy Bowl or something. That's my best guess. Um, but who knows? Maybe they'll stick us in the Orange Bowl or something. I don't know. Um, but that really depends on everything, everybody else's games and my game here against New Mexico State. Even though New Mexico State isn't really that talented, uh, you never know what could happen. I suppose. Um, but we got a lot of recruits coming in this time around. Oh my God! Look at all the recruits, and we have a leads on some of these guys. We're gonna, we're gonna keep on trying to get this team improved, man. Um, if anything, if we change conferences, uh, I do feel like we might move to the Big Twelve, uh, simply because it could be a little bit more interesting. I feel feel like because uh, I won't do it first year, but I really want to do it like after like a few seasons after this team gets established. Um, <clears throat> take a look at the top 25. You got Virginia Tech and Nebraska in number one and two. Um, Alabama, Texas A&M, Iowa, Michigan State, USC, Boise State, Arkansas State, Texas, Ohio State, Notre Dame, Oregon, Washington, Georgia, Oklahoma, Appalachian State, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Florida, Louisville, UCLA, Georgia Tech, North Carolina, and Auburn. And that is your top 25. Uh, Iowa State is still in there ringing around. Florida State, Stanford, Northwestern, San Diego State, etc., etc. Uh, but as long as we're still in there, you know, I, I really can't complain about where we are in this in the rankings. Uh, take a look at the bowl projections. Uh, like I said, I think we might be going to the GoDaddy.com bowl. The New Orleans bowl, though, Appalachian State's in there. Uh, so that helps us out for conference prestige-wise. Uh, the more teams that make the bowl games in our conference, the better our conference prestige gets. So that's always a good sign. Um, maybe if the conference prestige goes up more maybe i won't have to change conferences um but you see right here looks like we may be going against toledo in the godaddy.com bowl that's gonna be a good game toledo's 10 and 2 that could be a dangerous game uh, against a very talented team but we're gonna get on with this game against new mexico state should be a good one and i will see you guys on the field Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Looking for an entertaining battle in the Sun Belt today? Pregame just about set. Kickoff is coming. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. here at New Mexico State at Aggie Memorial Stadium as the New Mexico State Aggies are hosting the Arkansas State Red Wolves in the regular season finale. There will be no conference championship because we don't have a conference championship. So by default, we finished second in the Sun Belt Conference. So and we finished second to Appalachian State, who we ended up losing to last week. So looks like we don't get a conference championship in year one, which doesn't really, it doesn't really upset me. Uh, but we just got to finish strong. The season, the season's still very much alive. Uh, big loss here could end up making us go down to a December bowl. So we got to play our hearts out today if we want to continue to 
play top tier competition. We got James Morgan on the handoff for 15 yards and a first down. So a good way to start it off with a good run game right here. And a second and eight draw play this time. I usually don't run a draw, but you know, this time around I thought I would be thought the time was needed for it, and it got a first down. Second and two. We're driving the ball down the field in the first possession. James Morgan up the middle, first down another one. Ten yards. Kenny Smith on that first down play, he had seven yards. So let's see what we do on a second and three. He's going to take it himself again, and he's going to bulldoze his way down to the six. So down for a 10-yard pickup. So two carries, 17 yards so far for Kenny Smith. Later on, it's second and goal. Handed it off to Dean. He's going to get pushed down in the backfield. Just did not look good on that one. So uh, we're up going to settle in for the field goal on the drive. So two losses back-to-back -back like that. That did not really help us out. Uh, third down really didn't go anywhere. So we got an early 3-0 lead. Nothing too spectacular. We at least got on the board, you know. Started off right. Take it a little bit too. Just take it a little slow at the beginning. But we get this. They get this one off to Cook, and Cook is going to get up and get almost get the first down. That was a crazy play. He just got up and just said, "Hey, I'm going to try and continue to get this first down." But he didn't get it, so that's always good, right? So James Morgan again on the handoff, making people miss, and gets 12 yards on that one. So he has been a big feature back this season. Uh, but with Kyle Maxwell hurt, he has really been thrown into that starting position, that star role. And he's really thrived in it. So let's see how well he does uh, in this game. He did pretty good last game, but let's see how he does here against a New Mexico State team that really isn't known for doing really well, stopping the run. Uh, so Kenny Smith, another first down. Later on, it's third and five. We're running that no-huddle offense. We're going to give it off. Oh, nope, it's another read option. But uh, the, the defense seemed ready for it as it's only a two-yard pickup. But we got another field goal attempt here uh, from Weber, and that one's good. So it's now 6 nothing. It's been a pretty uh, boring game so far, if you will. I mean, granted, I'm doing what I can running the ball. I'm doing everything right in a lot of cases, but just not finishing off the drive. We got to do that. Uh, so third down and two. Let's see if we can make a, something happen. Let's see if we can make sparks fly on the drive. We got Kenny Smith, another read option. He's doing really well at running the ball. And another first down. Second and one. Handed off. Oh, another read option for Kenny Smith. Another three-yard pickup and another first down. I like it. Second and seven. Here we go. And, uh, you know, the run game doing really well. Giving it us one on James Morgan up the middle and another first down. I know I'm spamming the read option, but, I mean, when you got the, the three. If Kyle Maxwell was healthy, maybe uh, this defense or the offense would be a little bit more successful. Because you got the lightning and the thunder. Um, but, hey, we're doing just fine without him. Uh, we're, we are going to dearly miss him. But we get another stop here. And I'm thinking to myself, man, it's only one yard. Should I? I and the grass is always greener on the other side. Uh, but will we get it here? We'll see. And no. So we end up turning the ball over. We get left points up on the board. That could come back to bite us against the New Mexico State team that could very well be on their way to an upset. Uh, they do the pitch right here, and they get a first down on the play. 11 yards for New Mexico State. So set, first and 10 again. Grant dropping back to pass. Has some time. Looks underneath to Smith. Gets the first down. And the drive continues for New Mexico State. I don't like their helmet design. It's so boring. Don't you guys think? I, I, I mean, granted that I'm not the one who, who does the, the uniform designs for these teams. But New Mexico State, man, it's, it's just bad. Um, it looks just way too bland. You know, it just says M NM State. And it's not even... It, it looks like it's done in the most basic text font ever. Um, but, hey, I'm, I'm just criticizing here. I shouldn't I, I shouldn't be uh, focusing on that. I should be focusing on the game. So, they end up getting an incomplete pass here. The kick is up from the left-handed... Uh, left leg kicker. And it's good. So, 6-3. Going near halftime. Let's see if we can put up the touchdown. Let's see who's going to be the first to get a touchdown on this game here. Because, man, so far it's been boring. It's 6-3. I mean, the offense has been doing fine running the ball. We haven't passed the ball a whole lot, but, you know, we haven't had the – I mean, we haven't had a really a need to. As you see, James Morgan finally breaking loose down the field, down to the 15-yard line for a 53-yard uh, gain on the run. Second and five. This time we're going to pass the ball here. And Smith dropping back, scrambling to his right. He's going to find some open space, and he's going to find the end zone for the touchdown. And it's now 13-3 as the Arkansas State Red Wolves have 237 rushing yards here in the first half. 
That is absurd. So again, Grant dropping back to throw. Looks left side, caught by Felder. And Felder almost to midfield, down to the 49. So now they're past midfield here at second and seven. Actually, I think they did mark him down at midfield. At the 47, second and seven, Grant steps back, throws a dart to Jenkins, first down. And that's an 11-yard pickup, and the chains keep moving. So Jenkins again here, or not Jenkins, Grant dropping back again. Looks over the middle to Garrison, and another first down by New Mexico State. Now both offenses seem to be full force ready to go. Grant looking again over the middle to Felder. Inside the five, down to the four, 18-yard pickup on there by Doug, from Douglas Felder. And they're running this no-huddle offense, and we aren't able to stop it. But we'll try our best. So Grant dropping back in the red zone. Throws it in the back for Joe Huff. Touchdown, New Mexico State. It's now 13-10 to 10 as we're nearing halftime. So still a minute to go here. We're still going to give it a shot. Kenny Smith throwing deep downfield. Wide open is Lorenzo Harrison. He has a block, and he's going to find the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas State on a 59-yard touchdown pass to Lorenzo Harrison. It's now 20-10. to 10. But later on, fourth and inches here for New Mexico State. Grant. Has some time, looks right side. It's caught by Huff. First down, moving them chains, baby. Second down and 14 here, though. They found themselves in a little bit of a hole. Grant in the shotgun, drops back to pass. Has some time, kick it down for the sack, and that's going to be a big doozy. As Cle Landon Clay here got the sack. Third and 21 for New Mexico State. Grant dropping back to pass. Has some time, deep down field, and this is going to be overthrown as that sack was just too much for them to handle on the drive. And now it's second and six here. We're going to try and change up the offense a little bit. We see something in their defense that I'm not particularly a fan of, so I switch up the play, and we get a first down out of it. So a nice solid gain of eight yards. You know, when James Morgan's on like this, he's pretty impossible to stop. He's a really good running back in this game, I feel you. So, again, James Morgan bounces it to the outside. Another first down, 13 yards. Another first down. One for four here on third downs, no big deal. You know, we got Kenny Smith, right? Oh, the pressure's on, though, and he gets absolutely hammered as that one goes down. So Kenny Smith has only completed one pass on the day, uh, that one being a touchdown pass to Lorenzo Harrison. Everybody, everything else has just been run, 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 run. Uh, but when the run game's look, working like it is, I mean, it's kind of hard not to go against the run. So second and ten here for the New Mexico State Aggies as Grant drops back. Has some time, looks over right side, caught by Jenkins, and it's just short of the first down. And uh, they're getting really close, so let's see if they can get it here on third and four. Uh, again, not much time left here in the third, but they're down by two scores. There's still plenty of time left in the game as they get the read option here, and they get a first down. 12 yards on the play. First down. So Grant dropping back again, looks over the middle, and this one's going to be a Douglas Felder touchdown. It's now 20 to 17 here as we're nearing the fourth quarter. It's first and 10 here for Arkansas State. We're giving this one off James Morgan up the middle. He's got some room to run. Big run by James Morgan. 29 yard run. And my goodness, he has just passed 200 yards pass, uh, rushing on the day. So first and 10, hand it off. Up oh, another read option. Kenny Smith. He's got some room to run. He's got the speed. 12 yards. First down. So fourth quarter just beginning here. We got, we're got we only up by three, so we need a score. We got the first down at least. That's good. Five yards. That's all we need, man. 212 yards here from James Morgan on the day. He's really close to breaking the school record, I'm just saying. So first and ten from about the two and a half. So we're going to hand it off. James Morgan, end zone, touchdown. It's now 27-17. This game's not completely out of reach yet, but, I mean, two-score lead in the fourth quarter. You can almost smell the victory. Grant looks left side. It's going to be intercepted by Clay. Landon Clay with the sack earlier. Now the interception. This guy's having a ball in of a game. And he's giving it off to James Morgan again. He's going to get another first down. Another nine-yard pickup. He's just having himself a day. 231 yards rushing. Second down and seven here. Handing it off. Oh, another read option. Oh, boy. Another one. As that's going to be another 10-yard gain here from Kenny Smith as he has passed 100 yards rushing on the day. For a quarterback, that's amazing. For how good we rushed the ball, it's been great. So hand it off James Morgan on the third down. We do not get it. Uh, but have no fear, I say. Let's just go for it and try and run a little bit more clock. 
I feel like we can get it on fourth and inches, but we don't. So another two-yard loss right there. Probably, like I said, the grass is always greener on the other side. And then in this case, it probably w it probably is. Grant dropping back. Looks deep downfield. It's going to be incomplete. Is That one's going to be a turnover on down, so they don't even complete a fourth down conversion. As you see right here, Kenny Smith throws it down the field to Lorenzo Harrison. And Lorenzo Harrison has a 23-yard pickup and a first down. We're running out of time. They're running out of timeouts here. So we're pretty much going to be playing a little bit of just running the ball and trying to get as many yards as we can with James Morgan. As uh, That one's going to be a fourth down play. Um, just racing a little bit more clock here. Fourth and three. Kenny Smith trying to lead the troops back into the end zone one last time. As uh, not much left to be said about this game. I mean, we, we finished the season 11 and 1. Looks like we're going to be taking on Toledo here in the GoDaddy.com Bowl. As you see, James Morgan on the right side. Touchdown, Arkansas State, as that one seals the deal in Let's Boogie. So, James Morgan, 38 carries, 277 yards rushing, and two scores. Obviously, player of the game with those kind of numbers. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We finished the season off 11 and 1 in the first year of the Arkansas State Dynasty. We have the bowl game next in the GoDaddy.com Bowl against Toledo. Should be a good one, man. Uh, Toledo's a really good football club, and uh, they're going to give us all they got. So we're going to get ready for that. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below for more content like this and more content that uh, Madden NCAA UAB Blazers Dynasty coming up soon and all in that stuff in between. But until next time, my name is Tim with Ventures. You guys have been amazing as always, and I am out. Peace.